Hi friends, welcome to Ahilu Arts channel. I am your host Uma. Today we are going to see virus shawl. Uh, we have already done this virus shawl in our channel but it is in a Tamil. So as many of you requested, we are doing the same video in English. Okay, uh, most of you might know how what is a virus shawl. This is our virus shawl which will look like a virus. Uh, the main advantage of this virus shawl is it will be uh, as beautiful as even though if you are doing in a uh, plain color or you are doing in a uh, multicolor both in both ways it will be look awesome okay so now we are going to start doing this um, this is consist of only four repeated rows okay you will be doing a four set of rows again and again so as to achieve this pattern uh, this will be uh, using only chain stitch and uh, double crochets and single crochets no other complicated stitch so even a beginner can do this virus shawl um, more easily okay uh, this one you can always uh, stop whenever you want or once you attain your desired uh, length okay so it's most customizable uh, it will be very good in uh, both uh, multicolor as well as in single color and it will be uh, it, it can be stopped any any uh, after any rows once you attain your desired length okay so let us start doing this okay see uh, this uh, I'll show you this last round see here one what we will be doing is a chain row and a double crochet row and another double crochet row and a double crochet chain one row okay see chain row double crochet row double crochet chain one row and again the chain row continues so the set of four uh, stitches will be continuing again and again so let us start doing this in order to do this uh, make sure you choose a um, soft yarn because whenever you are doing a shawl or wrap or anything you have to make sure that it is soft and cozy so that it will not be uh, irritated when you uh, wear it for a long time okay so uh, I am choosing Karan simple soft and I am choosing 5 mm hook you can always choose uh, red heart with love or uh, lion brand yarn any other thing okay so, uh, and you can choose uh, uh, the hook according to your own choice fine so far in the beginning what we are going to do we are going to do a 20 chain so as I already told we will be starting with the chain round okay so we have to do 20 chains this will be our center of the stitch we are doing this starting chain see here this round we are doing okay so 20 chains we will have to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. So slip stitch into the first chain of your hook. This will form our starting ring. Okay. This is where we are going to do our double crochet as I already told we will be having a chain row uh, two double crochet rows and uh, one double crochet chain one rows okay so likewise we will be doing chain three which will be our first double crochet we have to do 20 double crochets this is the only place you will be doing 20 double crochets and all the other rings you will be doing only 10 double crochets uh, since this is the center round we have to uh, have 10 for this side right side and 10 for left side so that's why we are doing 20 double crochets in the beginning okay all the other um, shells will be doing 10 chains and 10 double crochets okay so after completing this 20 double crochets I'll meet you and I'll let you know how to do the next round okay continue 20 double crochets see I have done my 20 double crochets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 let me count again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 
ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी Make sure you have correct twenty stitches because every time you have to count uh, uh, how many stitches are there. It will be only ten. Okay, then only we will be having the correct uh, section so as to continue with the next round. Once you miss the stitch, then uh, again uh, the sh uh, the uh, shawl will not be in a correct texture. Okay, so after this round. Uh, what I already told, we'll be doing two double crochet rounds, right? So we, we'll, I'll be doing one more uh, double crochet round in this each stitch. Okay, one, two. So in each double crochet, we will be doing one double one double crochet. So we'll have twenty double crochets at the end of this round. Okay. Um, one more advantage in this shawl is you will be turning round. Um, You will be turning the shawl again and again for each round, so that you will be having both identical uh, sides on both the sides. Which means there is no right side or wrong side, so it is a reversible shawl. You can wear it on uh, what uh, whatever side. Okay. So once you have done with this twenty double crochets, okay. Next round we will be doing uh, a double crochet chain one round. Okay. This is the four set of rounds we will be doing. Again and again. What are why I am saying it again and again because uh, it will be easy for you to uh, continue even though you didn't have any pattern or video tutorial to refer. Okay, you can just continue so that you know what are what we are going to do next. Okay, so I have done my twenty double crochets. Don't never miss the chain three in the. Previous row, okay. That consists of a stitch, so that we have to do a double crochet on that too. Otherwise, we will miss a count. Okay, so we have twenty double crochets now. Also, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to do a chain one round, which is one, ah, uh, three chains. And one more chain, which is a double crochet and a chain one. Do a double crochet in the next stitch. Never, never miss a skip a stitch. Okay. So again, chain one. Do a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one. Double crochet. So continue till the end. You will have nineteen chain one spaces and twenty double crochets. Okay. So continue till the end. And meet me at the end of this row. Okay. See, now we have done our four set of rows: a chain row, a double crochet row, and another double crochet row, and a double crochet chain one row. Now, what we are going to do? We have to continue from the chain row. Okay. So, as I already told, this is the only time we will be doing twenty double crochets, which is in the ten double crochets we will be using for right side, and ten double crochets we will be using for left side. Okay. So, in order to do That what we are going to do, we are going to split this twenty double crochets into two. Okay, so this here we'll be having the long chain. See, uh, as I already told, we'll be having ten chains and ten double crochet every time. See here, after this first row, we have one, two, three, four uh, set of right uh, set of uh, double crochets, right? So. Hereafter, whenever we are doing the sides, we will be having ten chains and ten double crochets. Whenever we are doing the center, we will be continuing this twenty double crochet, so that our shawl will be growing on both the sides. Okay. So in order to do that, what we are going to do? Chain ten. Okay. So since this in the sides, we will be having only ten double crochets, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. After ten chains, what you have to do? Turn your work. This forms a set, two double crochet set. After this, you have to do a single crochet in the gap between the second and third double crochets. Okay, this forms our first set of ten double ten chains. After this, what we are going to do? Chain four. These are small chain spaces. Okay, here we will not be having any um, 
stitches only single crochets so leave two double crochet and do a single crochet in the third chain space which is uh, after the fourth double crochet in between fourth and fifth so again chain four leave two double crochets and do a single crochet in the next chain space see I am leaving two two double crochets in between so again one two three four do a double crochet here now what we have done one two three four five six seven eight double crochets we have used what I already told uh, we will be having 10 double crochets for this side and 10 double crochets for this side right so this is our last two sets of 10 double crochet for uh, this side so here we will be having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 chains okay 10 chains and we will be doing a single crochet in the after next two set of double crochets see here what we have done 10 chains in the first two double crochet chain 4 single crochet in the next two chain 4 single crochet in the next two chain 4 single crochet in the next two and 10 chain and single crochet after next two so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 um, double crochets we have used for this set like the same way we are using we are going to use this side with this number of chain sets okay so this forms our middle set okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 after two double crochets we are going to do a single crochet so 1 2 3 4 after two single crochet so 1 2 3 4 after 2 double crochet ching, single crochet in the chain space that's why we have a chain space af after each double crochet so, okay 1 2 3 4 and a double crochet see here we have 3 small chain spaces here also we have 3 small chain spaces okay so now what we are going to do we have to have 10 double crochet ch 10 chains in this like this side so in order to do that what we are going to do if we do 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 if we do 10 chains and do a slip stitch into the third chain from bottom okay then we will reach the bottom of the row that's uh, and then we have we can't do a double crochet in this chain see here in order to do a double crochet here I have to chain 3 and I have to do this this should not be like this because we we have to have a chain space in this area so for that what we are going to do instead of having 10 chains we will replace the 3 chain with the double crochet we always replace double crochet with the 3 chain now we are doing the reverse 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 after 7 chains do a double crochet into the third chain from the bottom see now we have reached the top of the row where we can continue our 10 double crochet in the chain space which is nothing but chain 3 and 9 double crochet okay so as I already told we will be continuing this double crochet two double crochet rounds and a double crochet chain one rows in these chain spaces 1 2 3 4 five six seven eight nine ten so I'm seeing it again in, in instead of having see, see since we have to have these chain spaces in here also instead of doing 10 chains at the end of this row we are completing this row with the double crochet so that we will reach the top of the chain so that we can continue the double crochets okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 after always count your 10 double crochets okay 
uh, even though not in the first uh, all uh, each row always do the first uh, row counting okay then only all your uh, next rows will be correct so after this i'll be single crochet in the chain space four chain space okay so after that one two three four single crochet in this chain space after that one two three four single crochet in this chain space if you see correctly we had three chain spaces in the previous row now we have only two chain spaces in the in this row and the next row we'll have one and the next row which is a chain, uh, double crochet and chain one row we will ha not be having any chain spaces okay so here we have reached our middle part see we have two long chains okay so here we have 10 10 double crochets and here also we have 10 double crochets which constitute our center 20 double crochets instead of having in a single chain we have in the two chain spaces okay so likewise we will continue 10 double crochets 10 double crochets single crochet chain 4 single crochet chain 4 single crochet and 10 double crochets in this long chain okay so this is what we are going to do now after this double crochet round we will be doing one more double crochet round and a double crochet chain one round which constitute of a set of four rounds of this second round okay so i say um, again and again i'm saying we will be having four set of rounds which is chain round double crochet round double crochet round and a double crochet chain one round okay so once we once you have done this all the other uh, continuing rows will be the same 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so always uh, continue the uh, 11th double crochet in the next 10 chain okay since we have to have this continuous structure we will not be doing any single crochet or anything we will continue the 11th single crochet so sorry 11th double crochet in the next 10 chains so that we will have 20 double crochets continuously okay so after this we will be having chain 4 single crochet chain 4 single crochet and 10 double crochets in this round so continue till the end i will meet you at the end of this row to continue the to show you the next round okay always always count your 10 double crochet because that is the 10 double crochet we are depending to form the next round okay see if we, if you have missed any of the stitches in this we will be having um counting mismatch in this two two set of double crochets right so always count your first row okay so continue till the end one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 okay and sorry we should not do any chain here just a single crochet in the next chain space and chain 4 single crochet in the next chain space chain 4 single crochet next chain space and we have reached our last big chain which where we will be doing 10 double crochets after 10 double crochet we will have a, a chain space left here which forms our bottom okay so one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So after this ten, you can see the structure of our shawl. See, after second row, we will be doing a same round again. Ten double crochet, single crochet, chain four, single crochet. 20 double crochets here continuously chain 4 sorry single crochet chain 4 
single crochet and the 10 double crochets here okay so continue till the end of this row I'll meet you at the end to continue the double crochet chain one row okay so I'll show how to stop and continue this first time then you can con you can do like that see here in this row I am not counting because I have counted already and it is a 10 row the only thing I have to make sure in this row is I am not missing any stitches okay always do a double crochet in the 10th stitch because it will not be much visible since it is near the single crochet okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 including this single double crochet only it, it, it comes to 10 so after this do a single crochet and chain 4 do a single crochet see as I already told first round we had 3 chain spaces next round we had 2 and this round we had 1 and after this round we will not be having any chain spaces so I am continuing the double crochet within the first stitch you can check the first stitch ok so continue and meet me at the end see after the end of this row our shawl will look like this ok we have completed two set of double crochet rounds see I have continued as um, normal double crochet round since uh, even though we have two chain spaces here it comes of one like this ok so this is how we will be continuing after this round I will be having my chain one round that means 4 chain turn your work double crochet in the next stitch always always never miss a stitch ok so chain 1 double crochet in the next round chain 1 double crochet in the next round chain 1 so since we have counted it correctly in the first round here also we will be having 10 double crochets So after this, see your last double crochet will be near the single crochet of the chain spaces. So don't miss that. Always see carefully. See, this is my single crochet and this is my last double crochet. I should not miss this double crochet. Then only I'll have 10 double crochets. Okay. So after this, what I'm going to do, I'll be single crochet here see as I already told we will not be having any chain space at the end of this chain one row after this I will be starting with my next double crochet as normal ok so continue like this until the end and we will do the next chain, chain row as I already told we will have set of 4 rows right see chain row double crochet row double crochet row chain one row like that we are doing chain row double crochet row double crochet row and a chain one row so we have completed this set of four rounds after that we will be continu continuing the chain row for the next set of four okay so continue till the end i will show you one more time how to do the chain row after that you can continue according to your own desire of the length to whom what you are to whom you are doing this shawl ok see this will be our um, shawl after the second set of rounds ok now we are going to do the chain round ok see uh, this is our first set and this is our second set after first set apart from this center 20 double crochets you will have one uh, set of 10 double crochets in both sides so after second set you will be having two sets of this 10 in both sides and a center piece. After third set you will be having three set of this uh, 10, 10 double crochet set and a center piece. Okay. So for, for that what we are have going to do chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay 
so what we have we have to do we have to leave two double crochets and do a single crochet after two double crochets in between two and third double crochet and chain four one two three four leave two double crochets and do a single crochet then again chain four one two three four leave two double crochets and a chain four we will be having three chain four at the beginning right one two three four and here okay so now what we are going to do we have to have this long chain in between the uh, this blocks let us call this blocks 10, 10 double crochet blocks so in order to do that what we are going to do 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 chains we have two double crochets here and we have to leave two double crochets here so that leave all the stitches which is two double crochet and a single crochet and a two double crochet and do a single crochet in between the second and third double crochet of this center block now we'll be having this 10 block in this edge also so this forms our one two double crochet before this center so as i already told in the third set we will be having 10 double crochets sorry we will be having two sets after the third uh, set right apart from the center piece so like that what we are going to do after this one two three four see i have reached my third three four chains so after this one two three four five six seven eight so nine and ten we will be having our long chains one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So in this 9 and 10, we will be having our center piece. So that long double, uh, double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And our chain. See, now forms our center piece. And here 2 like the same way this side also we will be having two sets of long chains okay so this is how we will be continuing till the end always in the chain round you will have three sets of four chains in between the long chain what i am saying a long chain is a 10 chains 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so what I have already told, we will be leaving these two double crochets, this single crochet and these two double crochets and do a single crochet in between the second and third double crochets. So 1, 2, 3, 4, leave two chains, sorry, two stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, leave two stitches, again 1, 2, 3, 4, leave two stitches. So we had three chain 4 spaces and now instead of doing 10 chains what we have to do 7 chains and a double crochet so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and a double crochet in the third chain from the bottom right so that we will have our chain space here like this okay so this is how we will be continuing next what we are going to do we have we will be doing 10 double crochets here uh, chain 4 single crochet chain 4 single crochet we will be having two chain spaces and the next round and again 10 double crochets here con, uh, chain spaces here and 10 double crochets in both these loops and chain spaces 10 double crochets chain spaces 10 double crochets so after this we will be having after you complete this four sets four rounds you will be having one two a set of this block this side center piece and the two blocks this side so you will be continuing till the end till whatever length you are you want okay so for adults i have made 17 sets one two 
sorry, sorry, not 17. I will count and say. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 sets. You can do 10 sets also. But even though in 9 sets, you will be having the, you will be having the length of this, uh, this, so that it will be more than enough if you do 9, nine sets for adults and seven, 6 to 7 sets for um, toddlers and teens. Okay. So continue till the end and make your border as you wish you can always uh, change your color after each set okay it will be more uh, colorful if you choose a solid color you can choose uh, two to three different colors to uh, have a blocks in each color so that it will be it will form a great great shawl and everyone will love it it will make a great gift so try this out and send your photos to our facebook page suggest your comments in this uh, comment section like our Facebook page, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.